Finally, the Operation Boss Fight, the Rockwell Boss, is working as intended. All the bugs are fixed and it works perfectly well. Fixed Aberrations Rockwell Boss Fight not increasing the level cap correctly. Fixed Aberrations Rockwell Boss Fight cutscene occurring too early which prevented access to the reward supply crate. Fixed Aberrations Rockwell Boss Fight displaying incorrect health bar color for the difficulty selected. Fixed getting stuck at the end of the credits after completing Aberrations Rockwell Boss Fight. Fixed Shoulder Pets disappearing after ascension. They will now be teleported correctly like other creatures. Fix the crash that would occur on Aberrations Rockwell Boss Fight when watching all of the cutscenes. Greetings dear watchers. Ark Survival Ascended, a major version update just dropped. Let me tell you the most important ones first and then we can go and read the minor changes. Some official server saddle armor clamp adjustments have been made. This is really important. Decreased stego saddle cap from 124 to 74.5. This is a decent nerf. 50 points less armor. Now that is a huge nerf to the stego increased trike saddle cap from 99 to 124 this is a buff to the trikes so a nerf for the stego and a buff for the trike to change up the soccer meta a little bit increased patchy rhinosaurus saddle from 99.2 to 124 i'm not sure if anyone uses them for soaking but now they have almost 30 more armor just like the trike so i guess they can be used as soaker as well and increased dodicrus saddle cap from 74 to 124 i tried using dodicrus's the soak bullets but they don't really Really do a good job even with the saddle increase i'm not sure why they did that added a wheel traits button to the creature inventory screen to wheel equipped creature traits fix being unable to deploy giant queen bee from a cryopod on aberration the climbing picks are very much required to have on the aberration and now they're fixed it was pretty difficult to fix them on the ase and we'll see if they bug out again on the ascended fixed an issue that caused players to be killed or teleported outside of the map when using climbing picks. That was a huge issue. I hope climbing picks are fixed for good. Fixed light flickering that would occur at specific times of the day on consoles. Fixed missing neuter spay option on rock tracks. Fixed being unable to equip a torch while mounted. Fixed the camera breaking when toggling for a mod when mounted on some creatures. Fixed the max player level being too low should now allow players to level up to 175 with everything unlocked pyromanes got nerfed to the ground don't worry they are still powerful but they got slapped by the devs massively decreased pyromanes drag weight to 149 now be able to be bolat now you can bola the pyromane that's gonna make the taming of pyromanes quite easier but it's gonna also nerf them quite a lot in the pvp reduce pyromanes damage scaling by approximately 20 percent another nerf to the pyromane increased pyromanes dash cooldown from 6 seconds to 12 seconds another nerf for the pyromane reduce wild pyromane spawns on aberration by approximately 75 percent well they are still on the aberration it's better that they are a lot more rare now but they are still on the map fixed an issue with the reaper queens impregnation attack when the server is under stress fix the reaper pregnancy buff timer displaying inaccurately fixed mushroom brew recipe disappearing from cookers when the save is restarted fix cosmos helmet not displaying correctly fix cosmos scaling and position when on the shoulder of different size characters fix the case where survivor mate could over encumber itself in butler mode fix zeppelin not taking radiation damage correctly in some cases fixed 
Cases where some wild plant C would not apply their charge effect to wild nameless reapers correctly. Fixed a visual issue that sometimes caused Rockdrake's legs to appear stuck together. Fixed aberrant Megalosaurus single player issues which were causing it to float and run in place. Fixed Steamforge animation inconsistencies. Fixed treasure maps spawning in unplayable space on aberration. Fixed wild Pasolosuchos and Yiling sometimes having displayed wrong taming team when knocked unconscious. Fixed gene scanner unintentionally having access to binoculars track function. Fixed an issue with detect teleporters that allowed lower tribe rank players to teleport to higher rank teleporters. Fixed an issue that caused the small version of the pyromane to become larger than intended after entering a procoptodon pouch. Fixed catapult not dealing damage on multiplayer servers. Fixed ballistas hit registration inconsistency. Fixed being unable to recover spear bolts shot from a ballista. Fixed cryopods displaying in a display case instantly decaying when removed after a long time. Fixed ichthyornis not retrieving golden fishes. Fixed camera stutter when climbing walls with a megalania. Fixed ceratosaurus sometimes losing all of their food when deployed from a cryopod. Fixed FOV slider setting not saving on consoles. Fixed blood visuals not being disabled on Google with blood visuals options turned off. Fixed GCM fly not working in other languages besides English. Fix some audio issues with player emotes. Fix vampiric trait not working correctly if the dino has the digestion buff active. Fix creatures not using correct pathfinding when attempting to navigate to dropped honey. Fix dinosuchus being unable to enter the underwater air bubbles on the center. Fix being unable to throw out cryopodot dinos in the underwater air bubbles on the center. Fix an incorrect texture on aberration. Fix an incorrect texture on the island. Fix missing water volume on scorched earth. Fix areas where you could be teleported outside or playable space on aberration. Fix radiation surface burning audio being heard globally in some instances when playing single player. I think I encountered this bug and it was so annoying. I would hear the radiation sounds all the time wherever I go. Fixed placing turrets on the ceiling border on aberration. So is that mean we can't place them anymore? Fixed an exploit with the pyromane which could allow players to cause turrets to fire without being hit by them. Server config. Max gate frame on saddles now applies restriction to gates as well as gate frames. Added initial tame and prompt to wild cosmos in line with other passive tames. Fixed multiple server crashes. The soccer meta on the official PvP just changed. The stegos got hit with a decent nerf and the trikes got buffed. Clock phase stack size has been reduced from 100 to 5. That's quite the nerf. Arc survival ascended. Wind turbines were functional pretty much everywhere on the map, even underwater, and now they got another buff. Wind turbine no longer takes damage from flame arrows. This is huge. Wind turbines are now pretty OP. Reduced Carcharodontosaurus's healing per blood rage stack by approximately 20%. Alright, that's about it for this major update. Thank you for watching, dear watchers, and I'll see you on the next one. And